everyone, good afternoon. Hi Elizabeth, you are always here to support me. Okay, um, first of all, thank you so much for all the um, prayers and the blessings that you all showed me. Uh, I'm well already. Today is the last day of my antibiotics. Getting better. Um, sinus have almost subsided. Um, but anyway, um, because the children have demanded for this dessert um, since two weeks ago, yeah? So I thought, why not today just make a quick dessert for them? They wanted something cold. It's either mango sorbet or banana sorbet or um, a mango sago. Of course, the first request they wanted is uh, the mango sago. So um, without further ado, let me introduce the ingredients that we need today. Um, <coughs> This is a recipe from my volume 1 cookbook. Okay, if you all have this cookbook, you can um, turn to that page and uh, let's take a look at the ingredients which I have also given you in my um, earlier post. Okay, so uh, first we need 1000 gram of water. So for those of you who are cooking along, you can uh, put 1000 gram of water in the TM bowl. Yes, I know, um, Christina, uh, I know Melbourne is freezing cold and I actually cannot take too cold weather. I have this same condition where my nose bridge here swell was when I came back from New York City during a winter holiday. Yes, so I cannot take too cold uh, with a holiday as well. So um, this sinus thing will, this nose bridge will swell. Anyway, I've taken antibiotics. Uh, the complete course today is the last day and uh, I'm okay. Thanks for asking for those of you. So, um, yeah, I just filled up 1000 gram of water in the TM bowl. So if you have not filled up the water, you can do it now because we are going to bring this water to a boil. Okay. If you are using TM5, you can put 7 to 8 minutes for 1000 gram of water to come to a boiling point but if you are using TM6 then you can just straight select the kettle function okay and let it boil all right normally 1000 gram of water will need seven to eight minutes to come to boiling point okay if you are using TM5 or TM31 then you can set seven minutes 100 degrees Celsius speed one but if you're using TM6, you can just select the auto function, the kettle function, okay? And uh, your water will, 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 will boil automatically, okay? So, uh, 1000 gram of water is boiling now. And we need to prepare 100 gram of sago pulse, okay? This is sago pulse, 100 gram, okay? We need 100 gram of sago pulse. Later, when the water comes to a boiling point, we will cook the sago pulse um, in the boiling water. Alright? Okay, so what other ingredients that we need? We need um, 600 gram of mango, fresh mango. Okay, 600 gram here, fresh mango. Um, choose the right one always because they have a very nice orange color and it is also very sweet okay so if you can choose ripe mangoes choose those even if it is a bit crushy i mean very soft or mashy it is okay because we are going to puree later okay so um, 600 gram mango okay and then we need 400 gram of a um, mango juice okay i'm using store-bought mango juice okay some of you ask me if uh, do not have mango juice then how i guess you can replace it with water um, but uh, mango juice of course gives um, a better flavor and a better uh, artificial mango aroma to your dessert okay so we need 400 gram of a uh, mango juice store-bought type then we need 350 gram of water Okay, all these ingredients I've actually chilled because my children wants to eat immediately. The dessert is actually best served when it is cool, uh, when it is chilled. Okay, but um, since they want to eat it immediately, means no time to chill in the fridge. Right after life is eat already. So I, 
I chill the ingredients instead. Okay, so we need 350 gram of water and then we need 150 gram of evaporated milk. Okay, 150 gram of evaporated milk and uh, we need 3 tablespoons of sugar. Now this sugar, um, you can put all 3 tablespoons or you can season it according to your own sweetness. Okay, because it also depends on how sweet is the mango or how sweet you can take. Okay, if your mango is a bit raw, perhaps then you may need a little bit more sugar to, to, um, to season your dessert. But I think the, the mango today is very ripe. Okay, and it's very sweet, but we will see. This is three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, <laughs> yes, I am getting better um, after rounds and rounds of nasal rinse every day, twice and uh, twice a day of um, steroids and uh, antibiotics. I'm getting better. I have this sinus problem since a very young age. At the age of five, I am already started taking steroids on and off. Okay, I have gone through many um, surgery before for my sinus to, to laser the, the, the two things inside that is blocking uh, because it affects uh, my hearing. One side of my ear, I cannot hear. So that was some surgery I did when I was very young. I also had um, tonsillectomy where my, tonsil, where my tonsils are being removed. So um, I have done everything. So it's... Uh, it's very annoying when sinus attacks, but I guess um, sometimes we do need to let our body rest, okay? And uh, I, I have been having sinus for a long time, so it's, uh, it's nothing, it's just, uh, it's just uncomfortable, it's just uncomfortable, okay? So for those of you who just joined, uh, I am making a recipe today, a dessert recipe today, from this cookbook volume 1, we are making this okay mango sago all right we are making mango sago today because the children demanded for this dessert since two weeks ago okay and uh tomorrow yes um i'm planning to cook um, you know braised pork belly with yam cow yolk um yeah tomorrow i'll be making cow yolk so uh i think i have all the ingredients later on i will um post up the ingredients to prepare um, to make this dish but most likely it will be yes it is sago it is sago all right so the small tiny sago pearls 100 gram we need okay tomorrow i'll be making pork belly with yam cow yolk so most likely i will start the live early um as early as um 10 a.m so I'm telling you now, I may start the live as early as 10 a.m. Because to, to make cow yolk for lunch, I need at least two hours to steam until the, the meat is soft and the yam is soft. So I may start as early as 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just telling you, I have not um, set up anything yet. I have not posted uh, what are the ingredients to prepare yet. But um, yes, tomorrow is the is what i'm planning to cook is cow yolk braised pork belly with um actually it's not braised like steam pork belly with yam okay so um just watch out for my space in my page i will post uh the ingredients to prepare later okay maybe tonight so um yeah after my session today 3 30 i started at 3 30 right so i should be able to wrap up at 4 30 because at 4.30, um, I think Team Uncle Kue, they will be having a live um, teaching some Father's Day fine dining menu, okay? And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Christy will be the first to do the live at um, 11 a.m., okay? So, but I will be doing at 10 a.m. So, I'm making cow yolk tomorrow. So, um, do watch out for the ingredients to prepare, all right? so um yeah our water is almost coming to a boil so if you like the video don't forget to um share the video click on the button share like and share all right yep 
Okay, the water has come to a boiling point. Now let's take a look at what we need to do next. We need to cook the sago pearls, okay? We need to cook the sago pearls. Um, so add in your sago pearls. We have 100 gram here. Uh, 1000 gram of hot boiling water. So we add in uh, sago pearls to cook for 12 minutes. minutes at um, 100 degrees Celsius reverse spoon speed all right so um, the 100 gram of sago pearls is in we are cooking it for 12 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius reverse spoon speed okay now after this is done after the sago pearls is done uh, you need to drain it into a calendar like this and wash it through running water all right to wash off the starch okay so just prepare a colander like this and uh, what else do we need here yeah? oh yeah we need some fresh uh, cut mango cubes to serve as condiments okay for our dessert later so um, if you have not prepared this is a time you can prepare because uh, we have 12 minutes to cook the sago pearls I'll, I'll bring out my my fresh uh, cut mango cubes to show you okay hang on it's here okay so you need about uh, mango cubes fresh mango cubes from two mangoes okay for our dessert so this is the time that you can mango is actually in season in Malaysia and Singapore so we have a lot of mangoes now I know um, in Australia maybe there is no mangoes at this time but um, we are in season now okay so um, for those of you who just joined in and if you have my volume 1 cookbook you can refer to the recipe here we are actually making the mango sago dessert from this cookbook okay so this is the first cookbook that I published five years ago or six years ago can't remember so this is volume 1 I can introduce to you uh, my cookbooks this is volume 2 the cookbook number 2 all right so this is volume 3 this is volume 4 cookbook number 4 okay and this is volume 5 the latest cookbook okay now, all recipes are not repeated in any of my cookbooks and uh, it, is, uh, it has steps for TM31, TM5 and TM6. And even for non-thermomix users, you can purchase my cookbooks because there is a conventional cooking section in every cookbook. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a very simple dessert and the children likes it everybody in my family loves mangoes okay so um, it's a quick and easy dessert as well and uh, it's also good for parties you can cook a pot and uh, people like this dessert because uh, it is cold it is um, it is not like uh, very heavy like cakes this is a this is a cooling dessert a fruity dessert so if you like fruity dessert you can make this dessert all right and uh, for those who are for those of you who are interested to purchase my cookbooks you can go on to my website www.anysaviorkitchen.com okay so um, don't forget to um, like my page and share the video that you are watching now okay you can also join my group these two groups uh, and post all about your cooking adventure okay you can share uh, lives of other cooking uh, of other cooking lives videos you can um, post what you have cooked you can um, share what is good kitchen tools kitchen gadgets okay you can share okay so you can also follow me on Instagram and YouTube all right so where to buy my books you can get it from my website this is my website okay this is my website you can go to my website and then and then you can purchase all my cookbooks <coughs> so how is everyone doing I have been missing for a few days sleeping a lot resting a lot because uh, 
I have to take the congestion which is uh, always will make you very drowsy so I'm not up to because I'm, I'm having so much pain in my in my nose bridge here I, I'm not comfortable to do any live for the past few days so I actually rested a lot it's very hot outside but sometimes it rains so crazy weather here <coughs> so how is everyone doing how is everyone doing are you all ready to watch the Angu Kueh later at 4 30 they are cooking a fine dining menu for Father's Day team yeah so everyone is uh, very busy with cooking with lives uh, hi Christy, Singapore is raining now. <coughs> yeah, Christy tomorrow will be making, um, will be launching her nutritious, is it nourishing week? A week, uh, a nourishing week with Team Sunshine, right? So Christy will be making a simple tong soy and uh, pork vinegar, something like that. So she will be up at 11. I may be up at 10 because I need to cook the pork belly with yam. So if you want to watch me, so uh, don't sleep so late. I will also make sure I, I wake up early because I need to have enough time, at least two hours to steam the cow yolk so that it is in time for lunch. Okay, so I don't want to cook things that... Um, that are meant for the neighbors. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, this week I also plan to cook um, where to watch Team Uncle Queer. Later, I will, when they are up, or anyone who is watching, Christy also, she will share in my group when they are up. 4 30. Yes, they are at 4 30. So. <coughs> Yeah, some of you asked for the um, chocolate cake recipe and uh, some of you asked for the red velvet cake recipe. So I will plan because the children asked for um, the children asked for red velvet cake again. Yes, daddy asked for chocolate cake again and the children asked for red velvet cake again. So I might be doing either one this week as well. So, which makes a total of three lives. I think it's enough for a week because, uh, yeah, it's enough. There, there are so many other lives going on, so no point doing it every day. So, yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me clearly? Because I'm not speaking as loud as usual. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I, I'm not really speaking as loud as usual. Um, I'm just recovering from sinus, so <coughs> hope you all can hear me clearly. Um, if you want me to repeat anything, I, I'm, I'll be happy to repeat the ingredients. Actually, it's very simple. Um, it's a very simple dessert that requires uh, very little... Uh, that requires very little ingredients actually. Okay, our sago pearls is uh, cooking now. <coughs> yeah, we still have four minutes. Okay, so don't forget to like and share the video. Yeah, so that more people will know how the power of um, cooking with Thermomix, how easy it is, and uh, <coughs> and uh, how easy are the recipes. You know, cooking shouldn't be very stressful. Cooking should be relaxing, especially now that whether you like it or you don't like it, you you have to cook. You are forced to cook because everyone is uh, being forced to stay home. Okay, how much, how, how many meals can you order food in? All right. So if you like it or you don't like it, you have to learn how to cook. Okay, and uh, it's very sad lately for to hear so many news. Okay, going on. Um, with so many issues in America and all that. So, um, cooked yam rice. Uh, I have one recipe, yam rice recipe, which is very good in volume 3. I like to cook this yam rice for parties and during Chinese New Year because it's, uh, it can feed the crop. So, 
Yeah. So this yam rice is in volume three. I yeah, I'm not well. I'm not well. Yeah. But I don't have fever. I just have sinus. So um, is there anything that you want to know about my recipes, about my cookbooks? You can ask me now. Okay. Um, Christy is uh, watching me. So if you want to know more about the thermal mix, you can also ask. Uh, perhaps she can answer some of your questions. I know she um, did a few uh, unboxing e-demo, e-demo, electronic demo, via Zoom and Facebook Live. And uh, she also did some unboxing videos. Okay, So you can check with her how to watch back the replay of all these videos. Okay, This recipe can fit how many people? Okay. Um, you can get easily six to eight bowls of mango sago, okay? Uh, but um, depending on how big bowl that your guests will take, okay? But um, normally, um, yeah, it's around six to eight bowls for this uh, mango sago. Joy, you have not made this before. Hakka abacus. Yeah, Hakka abacus is also from this recipe book and I did this recipe in uh, in my Melbourne cooking class with the help of Christina Chiu okay I did this recipe in Melbourne for the first time <coughs> and then uh, I did this recipe in Singapore also for the first time Singapore cooking class it's like um, it's like the Italian gnocchi but um, this one is Asian and we use yam instead of potatoes so Constance did you re did you join my cooking class in Melbourne you did right where is the recipe I cannot find <coughs> wait yeah oh yeah here Okay, so this is the Hakka Yam Abacus. Um, this uh, everything is here actually. The whatever ingredients you prepare here, you cook this here. So this one can roughly fit about six packs. Hakka Yam Abacus. It's very good. It's very chewy, very cute texture. So our sago pearls is cold so now I will pour this through a sieve with cold running water to wash away the starch okay Sago pearls, the cooked one. Okay, so this is the bowl. This is the bowl. Now, um, now we will puree the mango. So let's take a look at the steps. <coughs> so if you are cooking along with me, so the next step is. We are going to place the mangoes and water. So we have 600 grams of mangoes here. All right, 600 grams. And then we will have 350 grams of water. All right, 350 grams of water. And then we will blend for 20 seconds at speed 10.
is after 20 seconds speed 10 600 gram of fresh mango with 350 gram of water so the final step is we are going to add everything back in to mix that's all all right so we are going to add back the sago pearls So the sago pearls is in, then we have 150 gram of evaporated milk. Okay, and then we will open up 400 gram. We need 400 gram of mango juice. Okay. And then we will add in our three tablespoons of sugar. All right. So just give everything a good stir. And then we will mix this for um, 30 seconds reverse beat 2. 30 seconds reverse beat 2. Alright. So, our dessert is done. Our dessert is done. After this is mixed, we will pour this out mixed together with the fresh mango cubes that we have prepared all right and then the children can eat so um this week i have prepared um uh, i'm thinking to make the red velvet cake and tomorrow at 10 i will be making kao yok so do watch out for my space and uh yeah i will post the ingredients later Alright, so we will mix this in. So dessert is ready. So it's best if you can chill it in the fridge before you serve. Alright? It's a lot. It's great for parties. Let me taste first. Let me show you. A lot, right? So will the sugar dissolve? No heat is used. So you just stir. Lah. Anyway, it's not a lot. It's three tablespoons. So a lot of liquid 600 gram of mango puree 350 gram of water 400 gram of uh, mango juice 150 gram of evaporated milk very nice but it will be better if it is colder okay so this one will go into the fridge to chill and uh, yeah I think this can easily fit eight packs. It's a lot here. So it's done. Okay, the mango sago dessert is done. Let me put this in the fridge, then I'll come back and do an official goodbye.
Yes, uh, of course you can have the recipe. Uh, just half everything. Lah. But um, the water to cook the sago, the 1000 gram of water to cook the sago, you don't need to half also, it's okay. Okay, so um, can add pomelo. Um, of course you can, but um, it's not easy to find pomelo. Unless if I am still back in Kampa, then maybe it's easy. But I, my children don't, don't eat pomelo, you see. Uh, my children only likes mango, so they don't eat pomelo. So I, I, I won't, I won't put pomelo. It's just mango sago will do. All right. So yes, um, I have showed you how to make a very simple, quick, refreshing dessert today. So I hope you all will make it as well. Mango is in season for Malaysia and Singapore. Okay. So do make this. Um, do share the video, and. Um, do make this dessert and show me take a photo to show me okay so um, like the sh like and share the video as usual thank you so much to everyone for tuning in for all the prayers for all the blessings for all for everyone who, who check on me how am I doing this and that so thank you so much for your concern and uh, yeah I think Uncle Kui is up at 4 30 so do tune in I I believe they someone will share their their link in my group okay so um yes thank you so much i will take care of myself bye bye everyone see you tomorrow